Menagerie of Magic, where I will be showing you a menagerie of magical items from the wonderful world of Harry Potter that we all know and love. And today, I am going to attempt to do a Metal Earth model of a Golden Snitch. We'll get into that in just a second. If you are new here, hello, welcome, and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any magical content in the future. And let's get started. So... This is the model I will be attempting to put together today. I have tried doing two before. I have attempted this dragon down here twice, but that one is super hard. It, even on the little scale thing, it's super hard, but this one is relatively easy, if you can see that. So we will see how this goes. It is a metal model kit with no glue required. Yeah, let's see how this goes. And I have this little Middle Earth three-piece tool set. It comes with needle nose pliers, clippers, and flat nose pliers. Before, when I tried to do these, I was using tweezers and a nail clipper. So hopefully this goes a lot better. I'm going to start by opening this. There we go. And I will open this as well, obviously. Is there a place for me to open it or just dive right in? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I think this should be fine. Hopefully I did not cut the instructions. I will cry. <laughs> nope, everything looks good and intact, awesome. So here are the metal sheets. I love how they are actually gold and silver. There's not that many pieces, which is probably good. There was way too many pieces of that dragon. Tried and failed twice. I don't know if I mentioned twice, but yeah. And they are textured. They're really cool. And here is the uh, golden part of the snitch textured as well. And let's just dive right in. Okay. Where do I start? Assembly flow chart. Cool. Um, and I'm going to have to bend. Ugh. Bending metal into the perfect shape the first time. I learned something I am not very good at. Not at all. So, let's just get to it, I guess. I'm going to cut both of these pieces out because we do these at the same time. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we fold them each into a half sphere and then put them together. These clippers are wonderful. I just did three things in like two seconds, like clipped three of the little thingies. And oh my gosh, it's so much easier than trying to use nail clippers. I'm so glad I got these because I did, I will tell you, I did get another model to do in case this one went well. It, um, I think it's a little bit harder. It's not the dragon because I'm never going to try that one again. <laughs> I cannot fold metal well enough to do that or bend metal perfectly enough to do that. So, yeah, I got one of the other ones. You can look them up if you want. They have really cool stuff. Not just Harry Potter, but I think they had some Star Wars ones. They have the Eiffel Tower. Bunch of really cool stuff. I, of course, wanted the Harry Potter ones to not only put on my shelf, but to put together with you guys. <laughs> All right, we are almost done here. I think I only have one more after this one. Okay. Yeah. Look at how perfectly cut out this is. Okay, there we go. Those clippers are a godsend. Okay. So. Just. Okay. 
Oh, you threw it in this already. Yay, it's gonna go first set. That's a bunch of it. I don't have to be inside. I thought you guys were gonna be inside. That one. Yeah, I'm gonna right? And then I don't. I'm gonna push it out. You I'm already starting to get frustrated. Me and bending metal in the correct way obviously does not work very well. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do it. 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 Just Two more tiles and then don't get out. All right, so there is one half of the completed snitch. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other half and put them together because if I did it all on camera, this would take way too long. All right, so here are the two halves of my golden snitch. They're a little rough looking. <laughs> um, I thought the next step was to put the two halves together, but I was getting ahead of myself, I guess, because the next step is to put one of the wings on. I'm not going to go on, but that's something. Did it go together? Did it go backwards? And I can't get this all bent. I thought this was supposed to be easy. It's not easy. Take my word for it. Okay, there is the first wing. I'm going to go do the other one off camera because this is taking forever. All right, so I have both of my wings done and I cut out the next two pieces. These are, for the base, I need to, I need to bend this perfectly because that is what this entire model stands on. Wish me luck. It's definitely not perfect, but it will suffice. And then I need to put this on. Yay, part of the way done. <laughs> And now the difficult part is getting it onto the bottom of the base. This is going to be such a wonky base. Just because of how not perfect this circle is. Hopefully, while getting the tabs into the circle part, it'll make it a more perfect circle. We'll see. Like I can and that was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Probably because I did the tabs the wrong way. But that is just fine with me. <laughs> so now I need to put together the body, a stand, 
and a wing. Um, we'll see how this goes. A little confused, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> Because I don't want to bend that part too much because on the last one I tried, I bent it too much and it ended up breaking off. And then on the uh, dragon one that I did. All right, so I got it in there. I did have to go off camera. It took about 10 minutes. <laughs> I did not think that would be what would be so hard, but I was wrong. And now we put the wing somewhere. Right here. All right. And now to get them all the way in. All right, and I bent the wing. Awesome. So there we go. There's one half that does not look right to me. Oh no, I put it in, I think I put it all in upside down. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. That's what the picture looks like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fix this. I'll be right back. All right, so I got that fixed and I went ahead and did the other half. And uh, now we gotta put them together. And those circles are not the same. So this is gonna be a struggle. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Um, yeah. Let's just do it. <laughs> this is going to be one heck of a struggle. Had to get my trusty tweezers out to fix that uh, last issue. I want it to be more round. It's so much to ask for. Ow! Careful, it's sharp. I just stabbed my finger on the wing. Okay, so. This is so awful. Um, next piece is, okay, so. Are those the same? Doesn't matter. Oh yay, something else to bend. Great. So happy. I hope there's a way to like, oh yeah, there's a circle that I was gonna say. I hope there's a way to like attach this because it's not gonna stand on its own. So I got this. Uh, and what am I doing with it? Okay. So the engraved side is on the inside because this is going on the back. Okay, and should I, like there's not even a way for that to attach up there. Okay, so I'm just gonna attach it first and then bend and attach as I go. Seems like a good strategy. <laughs> OK, 
came this one since it's farther apart. I'll do them one at a time. I think. Ow, this metal's really sharp. Okay, so I got the back on there. I did go off camera because there was people in my house being a little loud. Didn't want that to get on here. <laughs> um, and next is the front. Okay. Hopefully all these ones will work. There was one on the back one that just could not, it did not line up. And all the rest of them did, so I, yeah, see if it works. <laughs> Okay, and this is going to be another struggle. Okay. These are the only ones that can actually bend anything. Okay. Okay. I am going to go back here and fix this thing in the back because I, like I said, I didn't actually put that one through. I'm just bending it to the side to keep it out of the way. And that's not going to work. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's go middle. Please line up. Please line up. At least one. Go that side. And again, this one's not lining up. Okay, got it. And I'm totally bending a wing right now fast without moving my there we go <sighs> okay I'm going to call that good. We got the base. What's next? Um, more bending. Yay. We're almost done. I think, yeah, just two more pieces to put together and then I got to put the whole thing together. Oh my goodness, this has been a process. Okay, so we got that, mostly. Okay. I think this is right. Okay, yeah, this looks about right, this little disc. And this disc goes right on top. Do need to bend this a little. All right. And then last, but certainly not least, we attach that to the main base. Stuff you want to bend doesn't bend, but then the stuff that you don't want to bend, bends. <sighs> okay, so 
here we go. Here is my wonderful, I dropped the golden snitch, oh God. Okay, so here we go. Here is my wonderful golden snitch model by Metal Earth. Um, I don't ever want to do this again. <laughs> uh, yeah, it did not turn out as bad as I thought it would. I will put this on my shelf. Oh, I put it on backwards on the bottom. I don't, don't care. Don't care. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. Let me know down in the comments. First, if you made it this far. And, um, secondly, have you done these? Would you do these? I am not a fan. No, me and metal, bendy metal, don't get along. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. Comments down below. Have you done it? Will you do it after watching me struggle? See if yours turns out better than mine. I really hope so. And that's all for today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you see. If that was really entertaining to watch me struggle that hard. Because I will probably watch this and be laughing because it'll be funny. <laughs> so yeah, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any uh, magical content in the future. Hopefully I won't struggle this bad in the future again. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>